West Point, population around 700. And unfortunately for Kelly and her owner, Terry Hawley, they're stuck without power again. In a word, what would you call these power outages? It's crazy. <laughs> What's interesting here in the center of town in West Point is that some businesses already have power back on, but if you go next door to another one, they may not. Power is on at the West Point market. Everyone depends too much on power. But power is turned off at Danielle's hair design. Fortunately, the shop has a generator to keep the business open. It's expensive to fill up your gas tanks even if you have a generator. Lorraine Landreth is proof keeping the power on can add up fast. So the last outage, you had $231 bill for propane in right. three and a half days, yeah. plus you had a PG&E bill on top of that? Yeah, 275 for PG&E. Looking pretty good. And just down Main Street at Pizza Plus, extension yeah. cords and two generators have become yeah, the new normal. Um, we actually get pretty busy when there's no power. You know, we have our generators. People, you know, we're the only place to eat in town because they can't even cook at home, so it's... it's Mm, so be sure to download the new ABC 10 app for the latest information on the breaking news throughout the weekend on air and online at ABC10.com.